Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Asus VivoBook S14 Flip OLED TP3402. To open this device, you have to undo 10 Phillips head screws. After that, raise one of the top two corners with a thin plastic tool to create a gap. Use a lever tool to pop the bottom plate in the zones behind the hinges. Then, fully pry the rear and work your way around the sides and the front. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. On the inside of the bottom plate, there is a metal plate that makes contact with the thermal pads on the SSD. The battery is a 70 watt hour model. To remove it, pull out the connector from the motherboard and undo the six Phillips head screws that keep the unit in place. The capacity is enough for 12 hours and 30 minutes of web browsing or 8 hours and 20 minutes of video playback. To achieve that, you have to apply the balanced preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu and select the standard fan mode in the MyAsus app. You also have to turn off the AI noise cancelling for the speakers and microphone and use the dynamic refresh rate option. The memory zone is covered by a metal plate, and you can pop it with a lever tool or a spudger. The devices with 12th gen CPUs have 4 or 8 gigabytes of soldered memory. The laptops based on the 13th gen CPU platform rely on 8 gigabytes of soldered RAM. Luckily, you get one SODIM for dual channel mode. According to Asus, the RAM slot supports up to 8 gigabytes of DDR4. 3200 megahertz RAM. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. For storage, you get one M.2 slot for 2280 Gen 3 SSDs. The pre-installed NVMe is covered by a metal housing that has two holes for the thermal pads. The cooling has one large fan, two heat pipes, a pair of heat sinks, and a heat spreader. 